description. The 69 heads of Messerschmitt cast in lead are not heaven. The magnetic cures of Mesmer on the plastic soul are more difficult to characterize. The heavens of Flanders are like textile in lustrousness, a bridal textile. We see the classic theme of a woman suffering with pearl-sized nipples, pink cotton billowing, or nacre skin sprouting feathers. Here is a perfume burner of Khorasan, a bird sitting on top. Birds perch on heaven habitually. They are not certainty seekers. I wanted to think into the stricture of appearances. There was a time when I came close. To help the problem, I changed into a clematis, I changed into a dog, I changed into a perfume smoke. Some of my organs were outside history, which gave me an advantage. Place here the idea of a necessary inconspicuousness. This is wrong. This is beautiful. This is social. This is not thinking. It is the handiwork of appearing only. This is the topic we discussed in your kitchen this winter. I said I didn't know what thinking is. You said you were trying to understand your sense of an inner voice, which was separate from thinking. I didn't understand. I let myself go blank. I began by taking everything that was doubtful and throwing it out, like sand. A coat. Dozens of watches. Yards of linen. Tons of iron. Boot polish, silk, or gold. A table, a house, a piece of yarn. A coat and ten yards of linen. Iron, linen, corn. Twenty yards of linen and one coat. The value of the linen and the value of the coat. The coat is directly with the linen, such as linen brings to view. The coat takes the position, such as a coat, coat, or maze, or iron, etc., linen, etc., 20 yards of linen, or one coat. One coat, for example. One coat varies. The coat equated with the linen, worth one coat, in one coat, in 20 yards of linen, in which the coat is the linen, and the linen looks like the coat, its buttoned-up appearance as a thing, the equivalent of the linen instead of the coat. So vested, I looked around for something out of which matter could be formed, moral evil, Chastity, suicide, knowledge of literature, poetry, highway robbery, food, concubinage, usury, kings, liberty, games, war, plague. I made a list of these things. That is, nothing apart from the gushing, abdicating, bilious, live body. The pools of bile glistening on the floor of the operating theater beneath the heavenly blue lamps. Sometimes simply those laws, since no community is for a body, thus the proposition. But I think poetry is nice because of my body. The insurrection of my unplaced body, I mean, on sodden space of groaning porch, so as a clothier, I must ask, 
What kind of unlikely coat is cut from 20 yards of linen? And the enjoyable gland also dribbles a politics for its friend. <laughs> The equivalent form of a body does not imply that the magnitude of its value can be determined, for the body of the friend is commodious only, and so extinguishes all named commodities rather than exchanging. I will be its gyrish receiver and nothing more. Our own relations speak and sow with emotion like a circulation, sliding and sticking with the pleasure of a freshening. It is amazing that it should be so difficult to simply know her commodiousness, commodious as Balenciaga, I would say, therefore with no equivalent. Gownly, it simply stands alone and beckons, as would the enormous Marxian coat minus certainty. It seems unbelievable in fancy, as in the non-abstract frequency receiving gesture of beginning. When you proceed to measure a person, first request her to button her coat that you may better discern her shape and position. Then place the end of the measure to the top of the back seam, or where you intend the top of the back seam to be, and extend it to the required length of the waist, say 16 inches. Continue it to the length at bottom, say 36 inches. Next, require the person to bend her arm while you take the length of the sleeve from the back seam to the elbow, 19 inches, and from the elbow to the hand, making 33 inches. Then take the length of the lapel by placing the measure at the top of the back seam and pass it over the breast to the length required at front, 21 inches. Then take the size of the breast, 18 inches, and the belly, 16 and a half inches. The top of the arm, 7 inches below the elbow, 6 inches at the hand, 5 inches. The sizes of the sleeve are taken, 2 inches from the top of the forearm seam, 2 inches below the elbow and the same distance from the bottom. Between the neck and the collarbone from the inmost parts. And what the difference is between obscenity and the museum. This is what happened. Friend, there is no community. She either had a beginning or she had not. Of shapely pleasures she spoke, the techniques of new shapes, which broke the materia medica. The proposition dissolved in the vicinity of these sunken pools and chandeliers bought by the same purchasers. It seems unbelievable as when there is a tree and you try to hear it and the sensation of behindness into the midst of which you have been plunged shows equilibrium as inimical to life. Skepticism is fragile, as when you mime what you perceive like a voluntary intuition that ripples from body to friend if the seam is a rhythm. As permanent gesticulation in uncertain scale, as revivescent motor element into the midst of which she has been plunged semiologically so my organism hankers. She made her muscles into thoughts, especially her facial muscles liked a well-stacked woodshed. I do this because it's more portable than sewing. The community, therefore, is a mechanism that, after being set in motion, performs with its goal an exchangeable simulacrum, whose component parts make the 
lucid clicking of value as water down an incline, as windmill to wind, nor it ceased to change its form beyond inevitably insurrectionary motions of specific, elaborate, perfumable bodies like hers, nor eliminate transcendent contradiction, as a machine has a bitter history they bait with honey, for bodies do not pass away, but they can, all golden, plummy, trembling, sad, as in the theaters we see and deeply deploy friendship and enmity. When did the image become a machine? Before, when it was prepositioned, entirely emancipated as free external motion between timely adjectival bodies linked by moving postures, it will subsist invisible outside the circuit and its stages. We must conclude that there is no image, that the friend's body speaks through her mouth as transcendent movement, succulent. What the political will be to her cannot be limited. There is only a body where there is my friend on the porch. Fearfully, I know this to be, because there is no general body on the porch. There is no general body in a car, no general friend. A green dress coat cut very scantily with very narrow lapels. The sleeves very large at top and tight in the arms. The shoulders very narrow. The collar of velvet ascends very high on the neck and the crease rolls over like a horse collar. Flaps are worn at the waist. The coat is cut across the waist. It is a new system of cutting. A white waistcoat of white waistcoat of white Marcella, single-breasted with a stand-up collar. A blue dress coat with gilt buttons and velvet collar. A fancy undervest with a blue undervest. A green dress coat with a fancy velvet vest and a blue undervest. A wide French braid down the front edges around the collar with five volutes of braid down each side of the breast. Double-breasted frock cut quite plain except the lapels and the collar. Six buttons down each lapel, the collar short and buttoned up under the chin. afternoon in the summer of my 52nd year. I'm lying on the bed in the heat thinking about geometry and the deafening uninterrupted volume of desire bellows, roars mournfully, laments like a starling that has flown into glass. These are two things that I want to remember permanently. The dog straining diagonally after the hare at dusk last night in the glittering disco sky. I am no longer afraid of being misunderstood when I state the old men's endless gadgetry. I don't buy it. What suits me better is to stargaze or to lie in stylish baths. <laughs> now it's time to return to the sex of my thinking. How long do I get? A fly moves across the pages of an open book. The pages are quivering. I'm not good at order. The men who tremble a little bit while speaking about passivity, they're all right. I could <laughs> compare them to a song. You should live twice in time where I contingent upon your heart, your spleen, or embody the spate and collapse of love, the living creature. To add gravitas, I am alone transcribing. If you can never be mine, 
I'll get some Swinburne. <laughs> there is the sense of women as impairment's ability. That's how it falls, perilous, unoptional. It was difficult to sing. Using Ovid, maybe, you lay your tongue across my art. Loved face, the poem is a hormone. I have no idea what song means that polishes the heart. We press out these voices from the inmost parts to be able to start. Sometimes desire awakens the ears of a whole crowd with copious particularity with the urgent motions of membranes, with the mystic dialectic of toxins and hormones. More hormones, less toxins. Less hormones, more toxins. Movement between toxins and hormones, and sometimes their confusion. For hormones can act as toxins, and toxins can also act as hormones, so that the fear of death falls away for a minute. Venus breaks a dew at the borders of everything. Right now, when I think of her, I have no problem with the feminine pronoun. I'm stupid against its animate insult. Me, with my scaly feet, my rubbed thorax, my vibrating wings, my periodic radiation, my repetitive chant and cunt. A fly moves across the pages of an open book. The wind rifles the pages slightly. I think of girls saying I in novels, people saying we in plazas and restaurants, students and cops. People's mouths are brutal, portable things. <laughs> the pronoun is gratuitous expenditure as necessity. I was a sucker in stairwells, a daughter in blouses. I was the only human to ever feel desire for the fly moving across the open book, for the shimmer of gnats above, above a frugal terrace. I'm stupid against flowers, quotas. I'm stupid against tables. All my cells bust. I got a little shipwreck, a frugal little ship, shipwrecked on a decorated terrace. It's hard not to read this as testimony. I was a sucker in blouses. I was the only human to ever say we. I sat at frugal tables and I undertook the ceremony of brutality or pronouns. I knelt. I bust a testimony. I was a shimmer of gnats at noon. I was living in a hut as a form of protest and it didn't matter. I lied and I held it together and the light was for my body and the fly was a shipwreck. To thee I went, but I didn't. I sheltered my lesion. Some are masters of desire, all deferral and expletives, using the word triumphant while they lounge in their marriages. To choose, to think, to mean, to gather, to eagerly pursue the shimmer that can't cohere above the table, to occupy the silent terrace as the flowers just pour upwards, to be organized towards sugar, why not? But then we would become enemies. Innovation is not a quality. I want you to really mean it. The truth is, everything that isn't poetry bores me. And within the problem of lamentations, my perennial resistance sensation. <coughs> I'm telling you things you already know to keep myself intact. There is no everyday life. That was a bribe from the masters. I have taken down the curtains so I can watch the foliage move. To be accurate, to be objective, my idea of myself relates to landscapes, unimagined achievement. An event I never sought will shift through the frail silence as I sit in a chair not moving. We have loved nothing, brutally. The DNA of loss moves through leaves. Some hidden oxidant of vibration played on a disintegrating cassette tape to the tune of You Are the Tenderness of Strangers Half Sleeping on a Train. Gods still move by river. The flat warehouses are country-like. 
and I wonder about silt and trees and chemicals as boats are loaded. What if the body does not signify? Its wee lost cluster starts to fade, the skin opening to the moisture of the season, its immunities the landscape. Here by landscape, I mean political economy. To have a bath, to write in bed in a hotel, so obvious, so easy. An entire day until the light starts to fade, to arrive at the long duration of an instability. How to walk with this till the, till the end, speak its tongue like a guest at the discontinuous table, my hands shake. This fundamental torsion, so thoroughly unskirtable, there will never again be sex in 1983, and I don't mind really. <laughs> Must I fear formlessness? If it weren't for this, I'd be free, as body organs cast in metals, divinatory objects. To decorate time, I like to spit from moving trains. So much can be passed over in avoidance of the rupture. The driver of the team of six horses plowing was a woman, cotton sleeves rolled to the elbows, hands to straining harness, skinny, capable. My kinship with this woman, her six huge horses and the surge of their vitality running through leather into my body. We who had no memories at all mount the pulsing tree in evening. Every desire emits a throw of dice. I start a school called How Can I Live? In my school called How Can I Live? In my theory of appearing, I lay out my costume. We don't, belo we don't belong to culture. We're sunsets. We simplify our thoughts until they resemble stripes. Stop hiding from life, we say to ourselves. Our skin itches. I beg you, show me something unknowable. I don't believe in this possibility of knowing. How will you start? The flipped over buses, the strange stuff suspended in the air. While they copulate, they turn their heads towards the east. Tell me now about shame and isolation the shame that has not even a vocabulary. It distracts us from our purpose. Sometimes I see things and I know right away, like looking someone in the eye. The great health is unknowing gratuitous expenditure towards the material ideal. It is not a metaphor. From now on, everything will be called the middle. Everything will be called the seam. Everything will be called toxins. Everything will be called the great health. Everything will be a hormone.